Hey everyone, I'm Armor Gaming. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Check it out, I have two wild birds. So I want to give a huge thanks to Social Point for giving me the chance to make this exclusive first look at the brand new, very first Forsaken Monster, Wild Bird. So one of those wild birds belongs to me. I got him from the limited edition pathway, and the other one is the one Social Point gave me. And they also gave me the cells to rank up this monster all the way to level 130, rank 5, the gems to speed up, everything I need to make this video possible. So once again, a huge thanks to Social Point. I am allowed to take this monster into player versus player. However, I am not allowed to win with this monster because that would be totally unfair. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take Wild Bird all the way to rank 5 in this video. And then you guys can see him fully utilized. And then with my own Wild Bird, I'll take him to level 100 and I'll showcase what it's like to use a Wild Bird at level 100. And I might... Yeah, I think that'll be it. And then if you guys want to see anything, be sure to let me know in the comments below. With that being said, let's level up this monster all the way. All right, and so here we have Wild Bird at level 100. If you saw my analysis on this monster, you would know that he has an incredible power stat. 3729, literally the third highest power stat in the whole entire game. The whole entire game. The only two monsters with a higher power are Hyperia and Raidor. And Raidor doesn't, he's not even that good. And Hyperia is more of a tank. Incredible life stat, incredible speed stat. So he's... Overall, a phenomenally phenomenal monster. Alright, so let's take a look at his evolving traits. He starts the game off hardened, and then you get a status caster pierce, meaning you can literally target anyone you want and damage anyone you want. You don't worry about evasion, mirror, shields, taunts, area dodge, and you I'll showcase that. At rank 3, you get status caster, er, not status caster, actually permanent immunity to stun for you and your team. That also includes mega stun. And then at rank 5, you get block positive effects and this, in my personal opinion, takes the monster to a whole new level because you literally are able to essentially land an attack. Depending on who you team this monster with, you're literally able to land an attack guaranteed. For example, if you partner up with Evasion, an enemy would first have to get rid of Evasion. Or actually, they'd first have to get rid of the Protect Positive Effect before they can get rid of Evasion. If you partner him up with Remtar, one, you can't take damage from those based attacks, special based attacks, and two, you're going to be reflecting attacks. So that is quite powerful. Here, let's just rank them up already. So, Wild Bird rank 1. Yes, I do. And we're just going to take them all the way. See, rank 1, I have the Pierce. Let's rank them up one more rank to rank 2. At rank 2, you don't get anything except another skill. And let's rank them up to rank 3. Here he is. You get your area dodge. Im uh, sorry, area dodge. Your immunity to stun. Immune area stun. And here we are. Rank 4. And let's end it off with a rank 5. And here he is in all his glory level 130 rank 5 wild bird where he has all of his traits. And so here he is at level 130 with a power set of 4746, a life set of 65609, and a speed set of 4466. Incredible. Alright, before we put runes, let's go ahead and put some skills. Let's talk about them all. So it deals heavy special damage to all enemies, apply shock and sunburn. Definitely want to run that. These are skills group 4 skills, by the way. Let's scroll up and let's see. Scroll up a little more. Ah, I'm stuck. All right. So the guard down. Or sorry, not the guard down. The mega stun. Great skill. Especially with the pierce, you literally have a guaranteed mega stun on whoever you want. And again, not having to worry about evasion or any of that stuff. So that's awesome. Let's also run. Ooh, which skill should we run? Evasion and stamina. I don't think I need to run this. And that's just because... Well, we will talk about it. Um, you appear to be dying. This is his super powerful, incredible mega skill. It's spammable, but look at that stamina cost, 204. That is ridiculous. That is so ridiculous. Nonetheless, we are going to run it since that is one of his power skills. More powerful skills, we'll just partner him up with the Lassa. We'll partner him up with the Lassa and we'll go from there. And let's see, what else do I want to do? Get Swifty, maybe? Thunder Weakness gives one extra turn. We'll see how this goes. So we're just going to have fun with this monster right now. In terms of relics, he can hold an Essence Relic as well. So if you have Uriel's Essence, that could be useful. As well as a sword, so whatever powerful sword you have, make sure to equip it on this monster. And I think we are good to go. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the skills. I want to showcase some more than talk about everything. So one, two, three. And let's go ahead and change team. Let's run our Thalassa. Here, let's give my Thalassa a shield. Alright, it seems armor success. Let's put in our Wild Bird. And let's also put in, who should we put in? Let's put in, let's do Elvira. Elvira, where are you? She is going to be down here somewhere. Bam. 
And we are going to give them, in terms of runes, I want to be able to swap, so I want to make sure I do something that's okay. Probably sevens. I think I'll run sevens. So, if you have mutant runes, then you can give them stamina. That'll be ideal, right? So, any bit of stamina will honestly help them for that skill that requires way too much stamina. But I think we'll go, we'll go triple seven strength, and we'll see how much damage I can do. Specifically, hopefully I can find out the lasso base, and this will be even more fun and interesting. So, triple strength. And just to make sure this works out, I want you to go before my wild bird in case I need to do something. So speed is now 30, 44, 78, and you are 44, 66. Ooh, just barely am I faster. Awesome. And there is a Thalassa base right there. This is going to be fun. So we're testing out wild bird, kind of just going in, um, just without really knowing what's going to happen. I'm going to take on this base. So click fight. We'll go times two speed. Enemy Thalassa goes first. And let's see what happens. High pressure fluid, plankton eater, abyss bottom, and high pressure fluid. The last is chosen. When am I gonna get a turn in? Recharge, righteous evil, and okay. So, what's going on right now? Let me see. I'm frozen. Dunrock curse the pharaoh. Okay, finally I get a turn in. And what happened? My Thalassa got trade disabled. Got hit with. Curse, Sunburn, Nightmares, oh my goodness, so many negative effects. Elviro here, Mega Freeze, Curse, Trade Disable, Sunburn, Nightmares, oh my gosh. Wildbird on the other hand, he has Evasion, and notice I did get hit, my positive effect did get removed by Thalassa, but fortunate, wait no, I still have it. It won't be affected by, wait, that's not a status caster? It's permanent? I literally thought it was a status caster. Oh my goodness, this takes it to a whole new level, the whole time. I was thinking this was going to be a status caster. So, what the heck? That's crazy. It won't be affected by positive effects removal skills. So, if you have Elvira and Wildbird, there, you have a guaranteed turn in. Like, the enemy literally can't do anything to you. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Alright, let's see the kind of crazy damage I can do. Bag of Squanch. This kills the Lassa. Get Swifty. This is my extra turn skill. You appear to be dying. This kills the lasso. Now check this out. Here's the cool thing. I'm not even going to do you appear to be dying because that's overkill. But you see it deals, it deals 95k damage. Because I have pierce on. Let me go times one speed. Even though the lasso has that shield, right? Check this out. I'm going to do bag of squanch, which is my weaker attack. And I'm going to click on the lasso. Notice what's in play. Megatont is in play. But again, bag of squanch. Thanks to Pierce, I ignore the shield, I ignore the Megatons, I was still able to attack the Lassa and just obliterate the Lassa. Wow, and the funny thing is, like, I don't even think I need a Wild Bird fully ranked up. I'm wondering if a... I'm wondering if a level 100 Wild Bird with some Strength Runes and Elvira, and then you just need to work on the stamina, if that would be enough to kill. But that was crazy. Dang. Alright, um... I want Dunrod to keep Megaton and everything, so I, uh, I'm honestly gonna recharge. Wow, that impressed me so much. Wow. Um, here, we're going to recharge, and we're actually going to do it again. We're going to kill Thalassa again, which is going to be fun to see. Valley of Kings Nightmares. Okay, so this time, Pierce. I still have Pierce. Perfect. So, um, here's, here's the cool thing. Again, he has dodge area, right? Dodge area, evasion... I'll, I'll vir um, the last has evasion and this monster has megatons watch as I do wubba lubba dub dub because I have pierce watch what happens we'll go times one speed literally attacked everyone killed the dodge area monster killed the last who had evasion didn't matter that Dunra has megatons and this is why pierce is such a broken mechanic right in the with the right monster it's so powerful Zizania was the first to introduce it however I really don't think as uh, Zanya really was able to maximize from it, but Thunderbird, I think one the fact that he's thunder based, and he can ha he has an advantage over water based monsters like the Lazuli who dominates the game. That's impressive, specifically when partnered up with Elvira. However, that really is more so at rank five. I think at rank five, knowing that this is this is like Neobuki, that it's a permanent trait, won't be affected by positive effects removal. That is just absolutely groundbreaking. That is crazy. I definitely was not expecting that at all. Was definitely not expecting that. Alright, let's get another churn in. 
Well, I am. I am blown away. That's crazy. Um, get Swifty. Applies Thunder Weakness. Applies one extra turn. Applies Pierce to itself. Thunder Weakness. Thunder Weakness. And then I'd be able to do my attack. All right. No need to continue. So let's exit out. Okay. That was impressive. We, we got to do it again. We definitely got to do it again. Um, I feel like my trophies are too low now for some really meta type bases. But let's see. Let's see. Another th last base. That's kind of... Okay. Here. A 130 base. We'll take the base on the right just so we can kind of showcase Wild Bird at its fullest. We'll click Fight. So here's another thing I want to showcase. Um, let's just let the enemy do whatever they want to do. Blades of Nightmares, that's fine. That's all fine. Krakatoa, that's all fine. A Shield, Hellbreak, that's all fine. Alright, check this out. So, recharge, recharge. Because I started the game off with Pierce, watch what happens when I do get Swifty. Keep it in mind that he has a Mega Taunts, he has a Shield. Dodge area. Get Swifty. Literally everyone is weak to thunder attacks now. So if I have a thunder based AoE, which I actually don't, I should have brought it, it would literally attack everyone and do 50% more damage. So get Swifty and my Pierce from rank 1 works so beautifully together. Oh my goodness. Um, shock and Summer to everyone. Let's do you appear to be dying to showing that I don't even care that you have a shield. I'll still attack you and I don't even care that you have a Megaton. Bam! Gosh, that is so powerful. Dark Submission. So the rest of Sword kicks in. Yeah, that costs so much stamina. That is really just a truly a huge, huge downside. But, I mean, the, the effect is crazy, right? Here, let's do Abyss Bottom. Abyss Bottom blocked. Blades of Nightmares. And then it was just me by myself. Oh, I'm not going to make it through this battle. So let's exit out. All right. Let's, uh, let's move some skills over. Let's see what I can change. Let's see what else I can try. Um, I am curious to see, let me see, I'm curious to see other skills, so, it's funny because against the Lhasa, you saw that I didn't even really need you appear to be dying, so let's remove it, because, yeah, let's see how we do without it, but notice that this skill does remove negative effects, and then it, it, then it applies to Pierce, then deals the insane thunder damage, so even if for whatever reason, you had total blind on yourself, maybe you had a daze, maybe you had sunburn, maybe you had all these DLTs, you can get rid of them before dealing the actual attack. Tammy's Betrayal deals moderate special damage to an enemy, gives one extra turn to itself, applies evasion to itself, and guard down. I definitely want to run this against uh, Anticipation Monster just to see it in action. So Tammy's Betrayal, get Swifty, you guys know I love so much, especially because again, with that instant pierce, literally all the enemies will get hit with Thunder Weakness. I do want to try get Swifty with a... Let's remove this and put in a Thunder Based AoE. I think I have two or do I only have one? It might only be this one. Time for action. Deals moderate Thunder Damage to enemies. Apply Shock. It might only be that one. So let's do time for action. And then I want to keep Bag of Squanch just so I can showcase the Megatons. And we'll do that. We'll keep... Um, let's get rid of the last... Well, yeah, because I don't need the last anymore. We'll put in a Remtar. Let's actually try Remtar. And let's not do a Vira, let's do, gosh, I don't know who to do, a Ragnarok, I can do a bunch of monsters. Let's do a Rossi God, no relic or anything. As you can see, the bases are getting a little easier to beat. So we'll see how this plays out. So we'll tag this base over here and click fight. And the game has stopped. All right, so the game crashed and I don't have as many competitive bases as I would have liked. But nonetheless, we are going to keep on trying and see how this goes. So we'll take on the base on the far left. And again, see how this goes. Yeah, not the best relics on the enemy, but that's fine. Got, got hit with the deep thoughts. Again, with Remtar, I'll be able to reflect and my positive effects can't be removed. Look, I have Total Blind. This would have actually been a good showcase of my You Appear to Be Dying skill. However, I'm not running it this time. Instead, I'm running some extra turn skills. So who is that? That is a Megaton monster. That's all we need to know. All right, so deals uh, Tammy's Betrayal. Oh, that's powerful too. Oh, I guess because I'm powerful. So once again, get Swifty, literally landing on everyone. Oh wait, I had Total Blind. Whoops, I should have done Tammy's Betrayal first and then get Swifty. My bad. Um, I guess what I could showcase though is the Bag of Squanch. Um, darn it, I'm killing everyone. Can I not kill everyone? Ha, huh, this isn't so much. Time for action. Attacks everyone. Cooking Sword kicks in. Awesome. Well, so much for that battle. Let's go to another one. Yeah, I'm just trophy dropping too much to where... It might not be the most fun. Let's see if I can find something a little fun. Uh, maybe the base on the left again. If anything, I can just do another video where I increase my trophies. 
and then we can truly showcase them in the higher leagues and how well this monster could potentially perform. So, um, got hit with the attack, I reflected. If I had you appear to be dying, that's a zero cooldown skill, I would have been able to use it. Um, so right now, can't really do anything. Hard light wall, there we go. So see how Taunt is gravitated towards Brutalis? But now when I have Pierce on, so let's see, Anticipation, nice. Gave himself Anticipation, I did want to see that. Oh, I do have high cooldown. Time for action will be the next skill I can actually utilize. If I'm not dead, I might be dead. There's a high chance I'll probably be dead. Hard light wall again. And let's see what happens. Dazed, Ram, Corruption in Disguise, got hit with a curse as well. So, do I actually get to attack? Time for action, apply shock. Again, I um, didn't really get to showcase much with this one. The days missed. Thanks to days I missed on Ugluck, but that's fine. Man, I, get, I think that really that first battle was probably the best battle. And again, I just need to increase my trophies and we'll have better battles. So, let's see. I can also just take him out into Adventure Map and showcase him there. Ragnarok Mephisto, eh, not really. Double Anticipation. Um, is that the same base? We'll try the base on the right. Just to end with it. Oh my god, a Heyman? Why? <laughs> Alright. So, let's start with Tammy's Betrayal. Anticipation. Death Door. And the cool thing about... Cool, Reflection. The cool thing about um, getting Evasion is that once he attacks... Once the enemy monster gets anticipation, I have evasion. So here's another reason why rank 5 is so awesome. Once I do Tammy's Betrayal, the enemy cannot remove that evasion from me. So I literally get to hit an enemy monster with Tammy's Betrayal and then essentially get a guaranteed get, get a guaranteed turn in. It is that crazy. Um, here, we'll do Get Swifty. Give myself Pierce if I needed to. No more failures. Hey man, actually got to attack me. And then I can do time for action. This would kill them both. Bag of Squanch. Let me just kill Ragnarok. And yeah, you even saw the stun landed. Yeah, so what I'm definitely going to do is rank. Not rank them up, but increase my trophy so I can do some more competitive battles. But I think you guys are getting a good indication of how powerful this monster really is. And I think the primary, the primary reason is I had no idea this was a permanent trait. I literally thought it was a status caster. So... This combined with evasion, as you saw, it, it is truly, truly groundbreaking. It puts this monster on a completely other level at rank 5. So I definitely want to be sure to increase my trophies and do some of those more competitive battles. But I'm also going to, like I said, do a level 100 video for those of you that aren't going to be ranking up this monster all the way to rank 5, which is a lot of players. Because we really still don't know how easy or how difficult it's going to be to actually get Salish for this monster. All we know is that they're exclusive and this is a one in a lifetime opportunity to get it. So if you get Wild Bird... From what Social Point has said, it does appear there will be future opportunities to get Wild Bird. You just need to make sure you get them now. So in the limited in the limited edition pathway, make sure to get them or try to get enough cells to craft them. Now is the time. With that being said, thank you all very much. If you want to see any specific team combinations, let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely going to be reading comments and I'm definitely going to try to be doing the team comps if I have them. And like I said, I'm going to increase my trophies maybe to like 5.8k. And we can do some really great competitive battles. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.